Hi guys, the Kitchen Fairy here with the Tube Steamed and Steam. And today I have a very easy recipe for pumpkin pie to share. I know it's not Thanksgiving anymore in Canada, and I can't remember if the American already the Americans already have their Thanksgiving or not. I can't remember. Sorry. Uh, anyways, check out the recipe, the video, the full video, if you'd like to try to make this very easy pumpkin pie um, which also have whipped cream this is dairy free and eggless eggless so if you have allergies of dairy and egg uh, you may want to try this recipe so I'll see you soon and thank you for watching bye can you read it I know it's backward well it's backward for me but not for the video see you soon bye so for the crust, I use these shortbread cookies. I bought them um, one whole box. When I open them, they are already crushed, which is heartbreaking. So I'm going to use them for the, the pie crust. This is um, one whole box with quarter cup of margarine or butter that you melt after and then put it here put it in and then we're gonna crush it even more um, and mix it with food processor in food processor once crushed just dump them into a pie pan and cover the bottom and side with the mixture with the cookie crumbs and just press it either with your finger your hand or with the, the back of a spoon if need be you can add melted butter or margarine but the shortbread cookies they are oil based they're dairy free, eggless, but they are oil based. So I believe you can also use coconut oil for this or vegetable oil. Now we're gonna make the filling. Filling, I'm gonna use coconut condensed milk because it's solidified. I'm gonna heat it first until it's a bit liquidy in the micro. Now for the filling, I already melted the coconut condensed milk I added about two teaspoons of pure vanilla I use Mexican vanilla blend vanilla extract one cup of sugar yes it's one cup because the pumpkin puree is not sweetened six tablespoon of cornstarch generous about half teaspoon to one teaspoon of allspice nutmeg and cinnamon powder I love my spice um, spices in pumpkin pie so you just want to whisk them or you can use uh, electric mixer and then we're gonna add in the add in the pumpkin puree mix it until well combined and then we're gonna put it on the prepared crust you don't want to pre-bake the crust because it's cookie crust which already baked anyways and it's already moistened with the melted margarine so if you bake it it will be too dry too crumbly because like most cookie crust pie it crumbles easily unlike dough now we just put it on the crust obviously you can use any other crust recipes of your favorite I just wanted to use this broken cookies which it, they make me sad I love those cookies and who'd like to purchase cookies and inside they found only broken <laughs> cookies right so anyways now that it's done we're gonna bake it it's easy peasy um, with this recipe the center of the pie wouldn't be set even after baking uh, while it's still hot or warm so you need to refrigerate it 
for a couple of hours until it's set because it's cornstarch based when it's with eggs it will set up nicely because of the eggs but this is only the uh, cornstarch that would make this pie solidified once it's cooled down now we're gonna bake it at 425 preheated oven I'm using confection we're gonna bake it for 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna lower the temperature 350 uh, for about 40 minutes to make the whipped cream you have to chill a can of coconut in the fridge overnight all the fat will came to this will come to the surface and you want to scoop them up and that's the one that you're gonna whip using your mixer with a little bit of icing sugar <laughs> Now you got yourself dairy free whipped cream, which is good enough for your pie.